This morning it seemed that nothing was so important as exams, but out here, it only seems half so important. It's all very well for you, Anne. You're sure to pass at least. Well, Ruby, what do you mean? You'll do fine. Not unless I can distinguish between a dangling participle and a split infinitive. Oh, I've completely lost my appetite. Or at least it's something that I can do. It'd be so dreadful to fail after spending so much money. I don't care. If I don't pass this year, I'll just come back next fall, because my father can afford it. By the way, Anne, Jim Stockley told me that Professor Tremaine told him that Gilbert is sure to win the Avery. Jim Stockley certainly entitled to his opinion. Oh, boy. Jane? Oh, just think about exams again. <sighs> Josie, what are you wearing to the tea dance? Oh, I'll just probably pick something up from the shops. Everything here is so much nicer than at home. Would you look at that? My hand's shaking. I'm going to wear my lace gown with the low waist. Shows off my figure. What about you, Anne? What are you going to wear? Well, I don't know why they have this thing the week before exams. It's such a silly tradition. There's so much stuff. You're not coming. Oh, but you must come, Anne, or else I'll be the only one without a partner. Girls, ugh, don't be so insensitive. Perhaps Anne just doesn't have a gown. <laughs> <laughs> in his strong arms. <laughs> if you cannot contain yourselves, I shall cease to read on. Oh, go on. We promise to be good. Together, they surveyed smashed up coupe. What's a coupe? It's a kind of carriage. Sounds French. It is French, Ruby. They're petite noblesse. <laughs> oh, Mr. Javert Bertram, you may have saved my life, but I fear my heart will never recover, said Geraldine between gasps. "'Tis not your heart, Geraldine, but I love that ails you." Then falling to his knees in the churned soil, he produced a diamond <gasps> ring. <laughs> Will you take me as yours and give me your own thyself? That's not done nowadays. What? Well, men don't get down on their knees to propose. Well, Ruby, I imagined a world where they did. But, but Ruby, would... it don't be so the, the way you are. Hello, Ruby. Jane, it's a pretty dress. Thank you, Gilbert. Oh, Anne, I feel as if it's been ages since morning. Hello, Josie. Your bedroom is so much bigger than mine. Mine is dreadful. These must be for us. Oh, I hope so. I'm famished. I was bawling my eyes out before Ruby came along. It's true. She was a regular waterworks. Who's Enrico Caruso? He's an opera singer. Jim Stockley played me a recording of him on his Victrola. Why isn't Jim here? He's, he's probably playing golf. He's absolutely crazy about golf. Gilbert's a really good dancer. He could make anyone look competent, even you, Anne. I have the least desire to dance with Gilbert Blay. Oh, but everyone dances with everyone. It's tradition. She probably wasn't taught that at the orphanage. I wish they'd play a waltz. It must be thrilling to be whirled around the dance floor by a man. There's no chance of that. Miss Elwood is a Methodist. Uh-oh. Here they come. All right. Let's get this over with. Gosh. Ruby sure looks pretty today. What room are you in? At 12. I'm in 12. I'm in room 8. With Moody? <sighs> Just my luck. What room are you in, Anne? <laughs> Fine words from someone who was throwing up not two hours ago. <laughs> Fate leads him who follows it. What if you passed your exam but forgot to write your name down? The only thing that matters <laughs> is that we all did our best. The next thing is trying and winning. The best thing is trying and failing. If I say it enough times, I think I will. Anne? Oh. Anne, isn't it splendid? Oh, Anne, I'm so proud! <laughs> About what? Well, Gilbert won the gold medal, but you won the Avery! I did? Yes! <laughs> <laughs>